maybe you can answer this question that we're asking everyone what what are jews what 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 is this what if if, if aliens came and asked you oh. what is that group what would you say um the way i understand it's not necessarily true but that's and it's also a very difficult question i think it's always going to be asked uh but i think it's it's uh religion it's god that is jews are the ones who introduced uh monotheism or high monotheism ethical monotheism to the world the two major monotheistic civilizations um that emerged uh in the last 2000 years and truly led the, till this point are leading humanity they both came out of judaism right christianity or islam uh people may say what they want about how those religions started but they truly truly started as jewish heresy no oh, of course uh yeah and that means and this is goes back to the idea that the legacy will always be there how are you going to get rid of it the the main struggle of early christianity and with the psalm it's not really clear but i suspect it was there was to actually individuate out of judaism right it's just to separate you're coming out of judaism right and then you have to separate from judaism so you identify yourself against it um i think it it, it really started it, that's a big uh, big element um okay it. but th that yeah. sounds like the okay that sounds like the, the the you can characterize how it started but yeah seth seth didn't uh come up with monotheism he's yeah. why is he still a jew you know what i mean yeah. What, what, why is why why is Judaism still a thing? If it were just this, uh, yeah. you know, you know, harbingers of this idea, okay, the idea is done, is there? We're, you know, we're done. Let's, we can, we can, we can move on. We, you know, there were many other empires. You know, they rose, they fell, as Mark Twain says. Uh, but yeah. the Jews, for some reason, remain like as if there's yeah. like a certain <laughs> something they have to fulfill. You know how like you, you you know they have the story like you keep coming back to this life almost like why do you keep coming back? There's something I have to do. You know so. What is the definition I, I, of, of Judaism today? You know, after well, 2000 you got a years. twinkle in your eye when, when Leo asked this question. No, I really don't know. Uh, I, I think the answer of this question will ultimately have to fall on some sort of faith, one or the other, uh, whether religious or non-religious faith. Uh, because just you can't, because you, once you're asking a question like this, you're dealing with the meaning of history. Uh, and the meaning of history, mm -hmm. and the meaning of history will always uh be a matter of either faith or philosophical speculation i learned the very hard way that faith is always preferable to philosophical speculation uh but that's i think that's always how it's going to be so i don't want to speculate that's basically why I'm, <laughs> what, what i said that, uh, well, okay so so back to seth's question uh looking at the jews we're, we're just trying to kind of rephrase the um you know the discussion instead of saying you know anti-semitism is is their problem something wrong with them they have to change their mind we're saying okay may, maybe something we did something we didn't do i don't know maybe yeah. there's something that we're uh you know well, is there something about the jews um in the world today that you can see they can say well maybe it's that you know and we're not trying to you know paint you as uh, some yeah, you know yeah, some yeah. anti-jewish no, no if you're talking about jews themselves like the actual people not the abstraction no it's not them <laughs> the the problem is with the abstraction that's the thing it's, oh so let's said, talk it, about the abstraction then it, it's a rational construct but jews but listen people, you, you talked about lord of the rings you talked about drama yeah. you talked about the matrix said, the matrix yeah, yeah. mysticism so without and i know you don't want to speculate Right. But let, let, let's go for one second and just allow ourselves yeah. to think that there are some kind of forces. There is some kind of master movie that we're all in. What would it, what would it be? What would have to happen? I, what what I is this? I don't. I really. Well, give us the answer, I, Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping to solve this by nine a.m. Stop teasing us. Uh, I'll tell you why I. Uh, why I don't want to go into this, all right? Because anti-Semitism always a, is tied to a meaning, a question of meaning of history, always, whether modern or, by the way, pre-modern. So you have to have it's it's embedded. So the Jew is an abstraction, Judaism is an abstraction, the ones that is a function in the anti-Semitic rational construct. 
that uh, ra rational construct is a philosophy of history. It's a question about the meaning of history, right? Um, and just the pitfalls. I mean, a lot of our disasters in this last century, whether it was Nazism or communism or Islamism or Arab nationalism, all of the major destructive ideology, they came out, the Hegelian philosophy. So they came out of a, a rational a German philosophy, philosophy of history. So that's why I am personally, that's because of this is why I understand things. I am personally, I became paranoid, so to speak, about talking about history or the meaning in history. And I decided to accept religious faith about history uh, as faith. And I, I feel that's also the safest because by the end of the day, it's faith, right? I believe that there is a God, there's a plan. I don't know what the plan is, but it's it's there. And I trust that there is a meaning to all of this. So that's my own personal position. So okay. also there's something in your, so it's whatever the mind does, yeah. which you can study and read about it in books, right. there's something in the heart that, that drives it all. I mean, that's every epic drama. Right. It's not because somebody studied what is love and how is love. There's Definitely something not. that drives you to go to battle and fight a dragon. Right. There's something that in right. your heart that that makes you go and and uh, and climb that mountain. Right. Yeah. No, this it's is... it's true. Uh, study and learning, while they are very, very um, important, uh, but I do not believe that by the end of the day they can reveal meaning. A give meaning uh, to life uh, of an individual or, or of a group. Uh, I personally study a lot, uh, not to learn, but mostly to unlearn. Uh, that's honestly, I read uh, most of the books that I have, this room is filled with books, are books actually that I don't like, that I learned not to trust. And that's why I'm reading. I'm reading in order to know okay, what not to trust, okay, obviously he thinks, well, you know, like Yuval Harari, right? He makes this ra huge rational system that gives meaning to life and they are cartoons of reality. I feel personal indignation and insult for the people who actually believe this. Uh, and he doesn't know, I mean, we don't even know half of what he claims. I wouldn't even say half. We don't know 10% of half of what he claims that we actually know as, as people. So that's why actually I learned, I learned to know not to trust.